What is up guys? Mike Live 1285. Mike Live 1285 here. Issuing a zombie challenge to all zombie players out there. While the loyal Xbox owners patiently await the DLC. Thank you, Treyarch. Uh, I thought I would issue a challenge to any zombie player who may accept this challenge. This is the starting room guns only challenge. Um, I'm gonna lay out the rules right here. You know, basically, other people may have this challenge and each each person may have different rules, but I'm gonna lay out the way I did this challenge. Um, basically, the only guns you can use are the guns in the starting room. All right, so that's gonna include your MR6 starting pistol, the Shiva and the RK5. Um, so that means no wall weapons, no mystery box. Um, things that are acceptable in this challenge are pack a punch, teleporter, obviously. Obviously, the teleporter, pack a punch, traps, grenades. Um, and the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife is going to be very crucial in this challenge, especially because it's, it's it's a one hit kill until round ten. All right, so if you want to try this challenge out, definitely go ahead. Um, if you'd like to try this challenge with me, my gamer tag is obsessive bow thirteen. I'll put that on the screen. Um, yeah, add me on Xbox and. And we can do this challenge together. I plan on doing a lot of other challenges as well. Um, I just did a challenge, uh, a shotgun only challenge, which was actually kind of fun. A little bit difficult too, so uh, that'll be up soon. But this channel, uh, sorry, this challenge, basically I decided to only go with the Shiva and the starting pistol. Now you can get Mule Kick if you want and grab the RK5, but to me that gun is a piece of shit and I decided not to use it. Um, oh, the other thing is gobble gum. Let's talk about what gobble gums I used. You can see here that I have the random power-up gobble gum. That can be really useful um, when trying to spawn maybe a max ammo or a nuke. Uh, you get two activations of that, so that's definitely a useful gobble gum to have. Other gobble gums that I have equipped are the uh, spawn and nuke gobble gum, Spawn an insta kill. Um, what else would I have? Oh, the other one I had is when you take melee damage, uh, zombies burst into flames. That's a pretty useful one. Um, yeah, so try to have a lot of gobble gum equipped and use them definitely as needed. Uh, you know, don't be cheap with the gobble gum, they can save your life. Alright, so basically, my strategy for this challenge. Um, was to try to use the traps as much as possible to take out the zombies. You can really blow through the rounds rather quickly. Uh, this entire game only took me about an hour. Um, I didn't get very far, um, but I guarantee if you're a better zombie player than I am, you can easily get into the 40s and 50s um, using this strategy. I kind of just hang out at the top of the bridge and um, Luckily I had quick revive right there, which was very useful. And as the zombies start to hoard in, I would just drop down, hit the trap right there at the bottom. And that basically would take care of the majority of the round right there. So that was a good strategy. And then once I had the Shiva upgraded twice, I had dead wire on that, um, which can be really useful. Um, other attachments that I like are turned and blast furnace. Um, Thunderwall also is really useful. To me, the fireworks is just pretty much useless. Um, be careful with the MR6, you will down yourself with those. Um, yeah, so be very careful with that. And then just kind of work your way back into the teleporter. It's just a matter of going back and forth. Keep your points up, because you're going to be using a lot of points on the traps and the teleporter. Now, but once you get kind of a rhythm going, it's just you're going to blow through these rounds really quickly. I've probably got to round 25 in like, I don't know, I'd want to say like a half hour, maybe, yeah, about around that time. Um, yeah, so definitely, um, if you want to challenge me or if you want to join me, I'm, I'm thinking about doing maybe two-player challenge matches. I, I stream on Twitch, so if you want to either join me on there or if we do a game together and you want a copy of the video, we can. I can send that to you, definitely. 
um, if you use Twitch or if you don't use Twitch I can always send it to you some other way uh, yeah looking to get a lot of challenge videos on here other challenge videos definitely I want to do two box hit challenge that can be fun because really you know whatever you get that's what you get another challenge video that I want to do uh, if somebody wants to join me it's we're gonna be, it's gonna be we pick each other's weapons so that could be fun because and you know you don't t you kind of you choose it beforehand before you start the match and then when you start then you reveal what you're gonna choose for that person so um, that can be that can be fun because you can pick really shitty weapons um, you can pick the starting pistol you could pick a box weapon which means that person would have to keep hitting the box until they get the weapon that you pick for them so that can be kind of cruel um, I think in that case if you're gonna do that you should also you should also have to pick one wall weapon because I don't think it'd be very fair if you pick two box weapons that you would have to magically spawn from the box yeah this challenge wasn't too difficult um, just kind of requires you keep you know keep running around the map hitting those traps make sure you have enough points because once you run out of points that's when you're gonna come into trouble when you can no longer uh, escape through the teleporter or use the traps um, and then finally you know eventually you're just gonna run out of ammo and that's uh, basically how it's gonna go down but I'm really impressed at how powerful the Shiva is um, you know once you once you pack it and once you add speed cola and double tap this thing is really powerful and I'm somebody that always used to talk shit about the Shiva so now we're up here in the higher rounds. This is approaching Andy. This was a big mistake that I made uh, going down this alleyway. Try to avoid this alleyway. It's uh, very dangerous. And this, I think, this was my last chance. I know. Uh, I think I had no. I had one more shot at quick revive, but I couldn't get to it, so I had to go straight for jug. And this is where the gobble gum came in really handy. It spawned me a nuke. That was clutch. Make sure you also know exactly <clears throat> exactly where the perk bottles are that you're going to need. Um, you know, sometimes Jug is going to be in Dead Man's Corner, and that can be extremely risky to try to get mid-round. Um, so hopefully when you try this challenge, you'll have the perks in decent positions. There was a lot of times in this game I should have died. <laughs> I just got very lucky and just continue using the traps. That's all you can really do. Just keep running around the map, hit the traps. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So, this was my last hit on Quick Revive. Goodbye, Quick Revive. Um, but I gotta say, round 31 and the Shiva is still kicking ass, man. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't hit the trap there. That was definitely a big mistake. Yeah, uh, Shiva's doing good on ammo. Um, make sure that you try to keep some extra points in case you have to buy ammo because it's going to cost you 40, uh, 4500 for that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. I didn't get too much further than this on this challenge. Round 32, not my highest round, um, but pretty decent for this kind of a challenge. Uh, anyway, that's about to wrap it up here. I have no longer, I have no more use of Quick Revive and I have no points. <laughs> so this teleporter is going to take my points and I'm not even going to have enough points to get Jug. This is my last stand. Um, yeah, try this challenge, let me know how it goes. And if you want to do this challenge with me, just add me on Xbox Obsessive Bow 13. And more challenge videos to come while we await the DLC. Oh yeah, last piece of advice. Um, always look both ways before you drop onto a horde. <laughs>